Good morning to all of you. Uh, so today we are going to start a new topic that is pulmonary stenosis. In the previous class we had studied about aortic stenosis. Now uh, this is uh, pulmonary stenosis. Now what is pulmonary stenosis? It is a birth defect of the heart. Uh, it is a congenital birth defect. Uh, it can happen when the pulmonary valve does not grow as it should in a baby during the first 8 weeks of prog uh, pregnancy. The pulmonary valve what does it do? We know that it connects the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery and it has normally 3 flaps that is leaflets that work like a one way door. This means they allow the blood to flow from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery but not backward from the pulmonary artery into the right ventricle. Okay? So, what do you learn from this slide? First is it is a congenital defect. Okay? Why does it occur? Because during the first 8 weeks of life, uh, you have organogenesis, different organs, they are formed in the first, week, first 8 weeks of life. But if during the first 8 week of life, if it is, does not grow properly, then this causes a defect which is called as pulmonary stenosis. Okay? Now, pulmonary valve has 3 flaps, I will be showing you slide later on. So, you will see that there are 3 flaps in it and uh, all the 3 flaps together, they work as one door. One door matlab, teeno flap ek saath khulega, ek saath band hoga, teeno flap. Okay? So, that is why 3 of them, they open and close together and they work as one way door. Okay? So, what is the role of pul pul pulmonary valve? Pulmonary valve is present at the starting point of the pulmonary artery, at the starting point of pul pulmonary artery. And what is the function of valve? It allows the flow of blood uh, from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery, but does not allow the blood from the pulmonary artery to go back into the aorta. Okay? Jo blood pulmonary artery mein hai, uh, sorry, uh, right ventricle mein hai, right ventricle ka blood, jab right ventricle contract hota hai, iska blood, it will go into the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery ka blood, wapas right ventricle mein nahi aayega. Kyo? Kyunki ye, ye jo pulmonary valve hai, ye usko allow nahi karte. It is, it is like a door like structure. It allows to go, the blood to go inside, but does not allow to come back. So, these are normal things. Okay? Ye dekho. This is, see this is the normal structure of heart. I would not go to the other parts of the part. Our basic intention is here. This is right atrium, right ventricle and here is the pulmonary artery. Okay? Here is the pulmonary artery. Okay? Now, this is how uh, this is, this works. Okay? See, uh, we were talking about it has three flaps and this works like a door. Okay? And this is how it opens, okay? open pul pulmonary valve, all the three, they open and allow the blood to go inside. But if it is pulmonary stenosis, see a very small area is there for the blood to go inside. So, this is the cut section to so show the pulmonary stenosis. I think uh, the concept is clear to you. These are the three, uh, three cusps. Okay? Uh, these are three uh, what you call cusps leaflets. Okay? So, these are the things and these three leaflets they work together as one door. See this much space is there for the blood to go inside, but here a very less space. Now, with pulmonary stenosis it is harder for the flaps, flaps to open and, and the blood to flow as it should. The problem is in pulmonary stenosis the flaps are hard, they do not open it properly. Okay? Now, these flaps may stuck together or the flaps may be thick or not able to open it all the way. Okay? So, uh, what happens is they, these flaps may stick to each other or the flaps may be too thick or sometimes do not open at all. Okay? Sometimes the valve may be narrowed also. Okay? So, so, there can be, so the issue here is either the valve, uh, 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 the leaflet of the valve may stick to each other, may be thick, may not move at all or there may be narrowing of the valve. In some cases, the stenosis may not be related to the problem of the leaflets, but with the area directly below or above the wall. So, you have three basic defects in this pulmonary valve stenosis, we shall be studying the types. You may have issues at the valve itself, that is with the flaps, 
you may have issues with the flaps or you may have problems in the area just above the valve and just below the valve okay अभी हमने पढ़ा पलमनरी वैल्व के बारे में जिसमें थी तीन फ्लैप्स है या तीन कस्प्स है ओके ये फ्लैप इस तरीके से काम करता है कि एक दरवाजे में एक साथ खुलता है एक साथ बंद होता है ओके बट इशू हियर इज कभी फ्लैप मोटा हो गया और इट इज डज नॉट मूव एट ऑल और दे मे स्टिक टू इच अदर एक दूसरे से चिपका हुआ ऐसा हो सकता है या तो इसके अबाव के रीजन में पलमनरी वैल्व जहाँ है उसके ऊपर के भाग में प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है उसके नीचे के भाग में प्रॉब्लम्स हो सकता है विच में विच वी मे स्टडी द लेटर स्लाइड्स ना व्हाट इज पलमनरी स्टोनोसिस इट इज नारोविंग ऑफ द पलमनरी वैल्व कॉजिंग इंक्रीज प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट अक्रॉस द वॉल सो इट इज नॉट फंक्शनिंग प्रॉपरली सो प्रेशर इज इंक्रीज फॉर द ब्लड टू फ्लो ओके सो एंड देर इज ऑब्सट्रक्शन टू द फ्लो ऑफ ब्लड फ्रॉम द राइट वेंट्रिकल टू द पलमनरी आर्टरी सो दिस इज द नॉर्मल हार्ट See, this is the pulmonary artery. Can can you see? This is very close by. Pul pul pulmonary artery stenosis. Okay. So here, uh, uh, this is a uh, normal thing. Okay. But here, it is very narrow. Seven percent of children with congenital heart defects, women are affected more. Mild pulmonary stenosis has good prognosis with no difference from unaffected population. It is almost good. For severe without treatment, this may lead to right ventricular outflow obstruction. Okay, if you don't treat pulmonary stenosis, the blood may not be shunted from the pulmonary artery. Uh, uh, pulmonary artery, and we know that the pulmonary artery divides into two and uh, gives uh, deoxygenated blood to both lungs. Okay, so intervention required by majority of affected patients within ten years of diagnosis, and once you diagnose the child. Uh, then within ten years, some intervention has to be done. Okay. Now, <coughs> etiologies: it is congenital, isolated valvular pulmonary stenosis, ten percent of congenital heart disease. Valve is typically dome-shaped. Okay. Uh, uh, then there is a syndrome which is called as Noonan syndrome, or maybe uh, a Fallot syndrome. Okay. So, uh, as a part of uh, Fallot syndrome, you already have listened to this uh, video. There are four defects, and of one of one of them is pulmonary artery stenosis. Okay, so uh, maybe as a part of Noonan syndrome, as a part of tetralogy of Fallot, so this can be the thing, or it can be the valve is dome shaped. Okay, so this these are the issues. Now acquired, so that was uh, uh, this was congenital, this was the issue, and next is acquired. There is a syndrome which is called as carcinoid syndrome. Where this pul pulmonary valve may be affected, may be rheumatic heart disease, but it is very very rare. Or may be previous cardiothoracic sur surgeries, previous cardiothoracic surgeries. So this might be uh, the causes for uh, the pulmonary artery stenosis. What are the risk factors? First is germinal measles or rubella. Having germinal measles during pregnancy in increases the risk for pulmonary valve stenosis in the baby. So rubella during pregnancy is Very problematic. One of them is it may cause pulmonary artery stenosis. अगर जर्मन मिल्सल्स या रूबेला प्रेगनेंसी के दौरान हो जाए तो it causes multiple effects. One of them is pulmonary artery stenosis. इसीलिए जो adolescent girls है वे give rubella vac vaccination so that they do because they are the future mothers and they don't suffer from जर्मन मिल्सल्स या रूबेला during pregnancy. Okay. Second is Noonan syndrome. Again, this Noonan syndrome is a is a uh, is a chromosomal anomaly where uh, it causes multiple problems with heart structure and function. Then is rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever. We have already uh, listened listened to the video. The valves are affected. The pulmonary valves are affected in rheumatic uh, in the rheumatic fever and carcinoid syndrome, which we have uh, earlier uh, studied. So. Uh, carcinoid syndrome is a rare cancerous tumor releases certain chemicals to the blood stream causing shortness of breath flushing and other 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 symptoms and uh, they also damage the heart valves now types of stenosis we have uh, uh, studied one or two lines earlier types is valvular valvular matlab valve may problem hai okay valvular pulmonary stenosis narrowed or thickened valve is the most common type This is associated with tracheophys uh, 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 tet uh, tetralogy of Fallot. 
then congenital rubella syndrome, Noonan syndrome and acquired uh, pulmonary stenosis from carcinoid syndrome. So, these are the areas where you have pul uh, valvular pulmonary stenosis. Okay? Valvular pulmonary stenosis is a problem. Kaha pe? Valve may he problem. Hai. Now, with subvalvular infundibular pul pulmonary stenosis, uska matlab valve ke niche ki taraf. So, fibromuscular narrowing of the infundibular region with normal valve. Okay? Uh, valve normal hai, but the problem is valve ke niche ka portion bahut narrowed hai. So, that is fibromuscular narrowing of the infundibular valve. Second is these are these things are rare and this may be associated with other uh, uh, this may be associated with other other problems uh, like tracheo uh, tetralogy of phallet or ventricular septal defect. Second is supra sub matlab niche supra matlab above supravalvular or peripheral pulmonary stenosis what it is a narrowing of the main pulmonary artery or its branches up to the periphery ok. Uh, jo, uh, uh, pulmonary artery hai wo artery itself narrow ho gaya hai theek hai aap samajh rahe hain valvular what is uh, what is valvular valve mein problem hai valve thick ho gaya hai aapas mein chipak gaya hai so uh, ya yeah, theek se kaam nahi kar raha hai that is valvular sub valvular matlab valve jahan hai uske niche ka bhag valve normal hai but niche wala jo bhag hai jahan se blood aana hai wahan par there is fibromuscular narrowing so, this can create a problem. Then, dusra hai supravalvular. Supra means valve ki upar the pulmonary artery hai. That pulmonary artery itself may be narrowed. Okay. Uh, pulmonary artery or its branches up to the perif periphery. So, that may be narrowed. So, in such cases, we hear murmurs over, over the lungs. And in mild form, it is non-pathologic uh, with murmur resolving by 6 months of age. By 6 months, the child is okay. And this may be associated with congenital rubella syndrome or other symptoms like uh, tracheoesophageal fistula uh, sorry tetralogy of hallet patent ductus arteriosus and ventricular septal defect. Now, this is the pathophysiology malformation of cusps of pulmonary valve the what happens is ventricular pressure increases right ventricular hypertrophy increase in right atrial atrial pressure and uh, malformation of cusps of pulmonary valve. So, what does it cause? there is jetting of blood through the stenotic valve. Okay. What happens is uh, the uh, pulmonary valve may problem hai, the blood will come in jet, jet matlab what force aega kyo, kyo ki, uh, right, uh, heart bhi pura koshish karta hai ki pump kisi tarah karte hai. Abhi kya hai blood, blood vessel jo valve hai pulmonary artery wo bohat narrow ho gaya. To jitna blood aata hai Wo ki, uh, so, what happens is jet ke jaisa maha, uh, formation ho jata because the blood is coming through the very small hole. So, that is jetting of blood. Okay. So, two things first is malformation of cuffs or pulmonary valve causes usse, usse kya hoga? right ventricular hypertrophy ho raha hai. Why? Because right ventricle pura koshish karta hai ki blood uh, right ventricle se pulmonary artery mein chale jaya wo pura ho, 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 ho nahi paata. So, say bar bar aise karne se, there will be right ventricular hyper, hypertrophy. This also causes increase in the right atrial pressure. And malformation of cusps of pulmonary uh, 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 the this uh, malformation of cusps of uh, cusps of pulmonary valve say there is jetting of blood through stenotic valve. Mata jaha par valve hai, maha se blood jet ke jaise andar aata hai. So, this dilates the main pulmonary artery this dilates the main pulmonary artery ok. Next is what are the, what, what are the symptoms? Symptoms are uh, mild to moderate disease uh, commonly asymptomatic and during mild mitosis these are the symptoms. Uh, the more severe the obstruction is the earlier it is detected. Wo clear hai. Jitna jada obstruction raha hai utna jaldi pata chalega. Ulta kya hai jitna kam obstruction hai kafi lambo sabay tak pata nahi chalega. And what are the symptoms? Fatigue and exertional dyspnea, thakavat bahut hai and with small activity the person becomes sick. And uh, next is in general chest pain from uh, the uh, the in general chest pain from oxygen supply demand mismatch. Uska, uska matlab kya dekhe? One thing to remember is pulmonary artery ka se blood lungs mein nahi ja raha hai. 
लंग्स में नहीं जाएगा तो वापस भी नहीं आएगा ऑक्सीजनेशन के लिए ब्लड जाएगा तभी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड वापस आएगा तो यहाँ प्रॉब्लम क्या है ब्लड ठीक से जा नहीं रहा है सो दिस कॉजेस एंजाइनल चेस्ट पेन फ्रॉम ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई डिमांड मिसमैच उसका उसका मतलब देर इज अ सप्लाई डिमांड मिसमैच एंड दिस विल कॉज दी दी हाइपॉक्सिक कंडीशन ओके देर विल बी लेस लेस ऑक्सीजन अवेलेबल एंड दिस कैन कॉज एंजाइनल चेस्ट पेन सिंह कोप स्पेशली वेन एक्पनीड विथ प्रोवर्किंग फैक्टर्स ओके सिंह कोप और द पर्सन कैन फेट इफ इट इज कम्बाइंड विथ एटल फिब्रिलेशन एंड इन्फेक्शन एटल फिब्रिलेशन एंड इन्फेक्शन ओके सो दीज आर दिमटम्स एंड कॉमन सिम्टम्स आर हार्ड और फास्ट ब्रीदिंग बिकॉज ऑक्सीनेटेड लेवल इज लेस ब्लूश कलर अलाउड द फिलिप्स एंड फिंगर्स ब्लूश कलरेशन इज एयर next is uh, uh, this bluish discoloration we know it is called as sinuses shortness of breath feeling tired especially with activity or exercise there is tachycardia then will be swell <coughs> swelling of legs ankles you can see this diagram there is swelling of ankles feet and face or it can be even belly or uh, <coughs> face okay so these are the there, there can be swelling in different part, uh, parts of the body then there can be fainting and chest pain so these are the common symptoms and how to do the diagnosis first is cardiac examination use a stethoscope or aap examine karenge to aapko kya milega a high pitched systolic ejection murmur heard at upper left sternal border okay upper left sternal border mein you can use you can hear a high pitched systolic murmur okay Uh, second is uh, murmur preceded by pulmonary ejection okay uh, pulmonary uh, uh, this pulmonary ejection matlab ye uh, pulmonary valve se blood jaane ke wahan there will be murmur okay so by using a stethoscope we can do this second is ecg ecg may show maybe may be normal or may show the right ventricular hypertrophy okay राइट 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 वेंटिकल हाइपोट्रॉफी रहेगा ई में एंड देर कैन बी राइट एट्रियल एनलाजमेंट क्योंकि आपका वेंट्रिकल राइट वेंट्रिकल ठीक से काम नहीं करेगा देर विल बी पुलिंग ऑफ ब्लड एंड ग्रेजुअली द राइट एट्रियल एनलाजमेंट भी साथ में रहेगा ना ट्रांसोरासिक इको इको कार्डियोग्राफी सबसे बड़ी है दैट इज टी टी विथ विथ डॉपलर टू डायमेंशनल एंड डॉपलर echocardiogram confirms the diagnosis and uh, by doing this echocardiograph you can find out the size of the right right ventricle and its outflow tract and its outflow tract okay uh, next is out, uh, abhi abhi humne padha tha types mein ki pulmonary valve ke upar bhi problem ho sakta hai niche bhi supravalvular it can be supravalvular or it can be subvalvular so we need to find out the outflow tract also एक्सरे चेस्ट लेने से दे शो एक्सरे चेस्ट रिवील्स दी राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपोट्रॉफी एंड पोस्ट स्टिनोटिक डायलिटेशन ऑफ पल्मनरी आर्टरी उसका मतलब क्या है हम लोग पढ़ रहे थे ब्लड जो है जेट के जैसे आता है जेट के जैसे बार बार आएगा हो आएगा तो पल्मनरी आर्टरी जो है वो फैल जाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ जेटिंग ऑफ ब्लड ओके नेक्स्ट इज कार्डियक एम आर आई एम आर आई मशीन है वट यू कैन सी सी वैल्यूएट सीवरिटी ऑफ वाइल्व एबनॉर्मलिटीज एंड ब्रांच परमनरी परमनरी आउट फ्लो फ्लो ओके इस एम आर आई करने से क्या फायदा है यू कैन फाइंड आउट सीवियर है कि नहीं जो पलमनरी वेल्सटिनोसिस इज इट सीवियर एंड यू ऑल्सो कैन चेक अबाउट ब्रांच ब्रांच मैंने आपको बताया pulmonary artery divides into two when it goes to the right lung and it goes to the left left lung so mri cardiac can also see the branch supply of pulmonary artery okay next is cardiac catheterization and pulmonary angio angiography and then you can find out about concomitant congenital abnormality concomitant matlab uh, uh, kuch aur hai kya sath mein pulmonary artery stenosis to hai इसके साथ में कुछ और प्रॉब्लम तो है कि नहीं दिस कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय कार्डियक कैथेटराइजेशन एंड पल्मोनरी आर्टरी एंजियोग्राफी ओके नाउ मैनेजमेंट में यू हैव टू मॉनिटर ओके मॉनिटरिंग विल डिपेंड ऑन द डॉपलर ग्रेडिएंट ओके 
if the Doppler gradient is peak Doppler gradient is less than 30 mm of Hg, physical examination and echo and ECG has to be done every 5 years, has to be done every 5 years. Okay. Asympt but asymptomatic with peak Doppler gradient more than 30, then it has to be done every 2 to 5 uh, years. Take care. Agar less than 30 hai, uska matlab <coughs> or asymptomatic hai, har 5 saal mein ek bar Doppler karne se ho jayega. Par agar more than 30 hai, then every 2 to 5 years a Doppler echocardiography has to be done. Then is diurets has to be given. Uh, if there is uh, symptoms of fluid overload, okay, diuretics will be given. Now, with medical uh, medical management, may we know uh, for this, uh, the child has to manage an ICU. Then the child has to, will get uh, prostaglandins. Okay, prostaglandin will make the ducts to remain open. Okay, and third is once the child is stabilized, uh, a procedure will be done to repair uh, the valve. The child with less severe stenosis will have the wall uh, uh, repair schedule. Okay. So, uh, this uh, different procedures are there. First is percutaneous balloon valvotomy. Can you see this? Okay. He introduced through the catheter and then you inflate the bladder here. Okay. So, this is called as percutaneous balloon valvotomy. Uh, then a cardiac catheterization is done as a diagnostic test. But the catheter has a balloon in the tip. So, when the catheter reaches the narrowed valvular area, the provider inflates the balloon for a short time uh, to stretch it open. And children who have had uh, children who have had balloon dilatation may need to take antibiotics to prevent heart infection after being discharged from the hospital. Okay? Balloon dilatation or uh, valvular plasty may kya karte hai? Uh, catheter dala femoral se and then it reaches the heart. Then what we do is uh, then we inflate it. Okay, kaha par jaha par narrowed area hai. Okay, so this can be opened, or and the provider inflates the balloon for short period of time to stretch it open. Jaha narrowing hai balloon ko wahan par rakhe, uh, uh, it can uh, they can inflate it. Okay, so uh, ye dekho ye wala ye ye balloon hai na yaha par narrowing tha. So what you need to do is ye balloon ko inflate kar diya. Inflate karne se <coughs> inflate karna hota fula dena. So, inflate karne se yaha pe jaga ban jata hai and the blood can come to this side. Okay. So, this is uh, the issue. Then is uh, children uh, who have had balloon dilatation may need to take antibiotics to prevent heart infection after being discharged from the hospital. Okay. So, uh, because it is an invasive procedure, children who have had balloon dilatation, they need to get antibiotics so that children doesn't suffer from heart infections. Okay, ये भी वैसे ही है balloon dilatation. Okay, so this is how it is inserted inside and then it is inflated and then they are taken out gradually. <coughs> now another thing is valvotomy. Repair choices first first is balloon angiography. Uh, this is what uh, we have we have studied uh, balloon dilatation or valvuloplasty. Okay. Second, what you have is valvulo, uh, valvotomy. This is surgery to remove the scar tissue from the pulmonary leaflets and this lets the valve open as it should. Okay. So, <coughs> scar tissues agar hai, for example, rheumatic heart disease hai, so this can cause scar formation. Okay. So, if scar tissues are there, they are removed and then leaflets will continue to work. Valvectomy. Valvectomy ka uh, uh, well, uh, this valvectomy ka matlab kya hai? Re you remove, remove, remove the valve. Okay. What we do is we remove the valve. Often a patch is used to help the blood flow from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery and this pulmonary valve may be replaced when the child is an adult. Ye valve ko replacement kar sakte hai par pulmonary valve replacement kab karenge when the per child becomes an adult. Okay. Or valvectomy mein what we do is we remove the valve and a patch bana dete hain jisse blood uh, us jagah se aana jana karega. Next is patch enlargement. Okay. So, patches are used to uh, enlarge the narrowed area. Abhi humne padha tha supra valvular, uh, sub valvular. To agar track mein koi problem hai, to what we do is patch use karke jo enlarge, uh, sorry, jo narrowed area hai, 
उसको बढ़ा देते हैं और पैच से कवर कर देते हैं सो दैट इज पैच एनलाजमेंट देन इज पलमनरी वैल्व रिप्लेसमेंट सो दिस पलमनरी वैल्व सो द चाइल्ड वेन इट बिकम्स एडल्ट सो दिस कैन बी डन एंड सम चिल्ड्रन मे नीड टू हैव पलमनरी वैल्व रिप्लेस अ टिश्यू वैल्व मे बी अ टिश्यू वैल्व और मे बी पिग और ह्यूमन वैल्व मे बी यूज and they need to uh, uh, have antibiotics before medical or dental procedures in the future okay uh, next is infection of the lining of heart infective endo endo uh, card, uh, carditis so uh, ch- uh, children with pulmonary uh, artery stenosis so they can have infections okay uh, they can have infections bacterial infections that have uh, that affect the inner lining of heart so that this can be this can lead to endocarditis also infection of the lining of heart infective endo uh, endocarditis so there are chances that uh, the child can have repeated cardiovascular infections okay next is arrhythmias can also take place okay arrhythmia arrhythmia i think you understand uh, the um, time interval between two or more beats might not be same so that is arrhythmia this can occur as complication then is thickening of the heart heart muscle we have already studied this can cause right ventricular uh, uh, hypertrophy why because the right ventricle has to work more and more so that the blood from the right right ventricle can go into the uh, pulmonary artery sometimes heart failure can also also take place so uh, the symptoms of heart failure into fatty shortness of breath and swelling of both lungs and abdomen then pregnancy complications can be uh, can be there uh, so if the pulm- if there is a pregnant lady with pulmonary artery stenosis then the risks for uh, complications during labor and delivery are higher uh, there the suppose if you have two group one group uh, they are already having uh, pulmonary artery stenosis and now they are pregnant another is a group which is which is having pulmonary artery stenosis and which are pregnant so what they can do is uh, <coughs> the <coughs> uh, during uh, during pregnancy the risk of complication during labor and delivery are higher okay the risk is higher because the heart uh, so whenever you have uh, somebody is pregnant then the heart has to work more because Uh, the um, the heart has to manage e- a to z everything about the fetus which is growing inside the womb so pregnancy complications can be there uh, in pulmonary artery stenosis especially with those people who have not yet uh, done the surgical repair now what is the prognosis survival rate after 25 is 93% a good prognosis is there reintervention was required in 15% of the patient मेनली फॉर पलमनरी रिगर्जिटेशन पलमनरी रिगर्जिटेशन का मतलब क्या है जो ब्लड राइट वेंट्रिकल से पलमनरी आर्टरी में चले गया था वो वापस आ गया अगर ऐसा है तो देन यू नीड टू है री इंटरवेंशन देन राइट एट्रियल और वेंट्रिकुलर डायलिटेशन एंड पैराडॉक्सिकल सेप्टल मूवमेंट फॉर एसोसिएटेड फॉर द नीड ऑफ री ऑपरेशन समटाइम्स द राइट वेंट्रिकल and the uh, the, uh, uh, the right atrium also may be dilated because of uh, the uh, the severe neurosis and that can be bad flow of blood okay it can even cause sudden death in severe instances now how to improve the long term outlook you have to maintain a health heart healthy lifestyle okay heart healthy lifestyle uh, this and what is heart healthy lifestyle refrain from smoking exercising regularly eating a healthy diet full of fruits whole grains and vegetables and uh, there can be regular follow uh, follow up as uh, uh, follow up at center offering pediatric or adult congenital cardiac care and should continue throughout the individual's life span means every uh, every 5 years or every 2 to 5 years the child has to get himself or herself examined by the doctor to find out whether there is further issues with pulmonary artery now what is the long term outlook after pulmonary stenosis repair the anti biotics any type of dental procedure any invasive procedure the anti biotic has to be given and there can be repeat interventional cath lab procedures okay uh, so that suppose if there is narrowing of the leaflets then it has to be inflated so this can free, uh, create a problem 
and replacement of pulmonary valve is done in the early adolescent or early adult uh, adulthood so that uh, other, uh, otherwise there can be enlargement of or it can cause right ventricular hypertrophy uh, heart failure and arrhythmia so these things can be avoided so that was all about pulmonary stenosis hope you have understood the topic thank you uh, for listening to the topic